Hello guys. Uh, let me see if this. Uh, do you all can can hear me? Cool. So uh, my name is uh, Rodrigo Rodrigo Oliveira Cerci. I am from Brazil, and uh, I am uh, from a little a little city south Brazil, and uh, very little city. I'll just speak about myself for for just a, a couple of minutes, okay? So, uh, and uh, uh, I, when I was a, a, a kid, like uh, my grandparent, uh, my granddad, he used to like fix computer. He taught me how to, to use computer. Like by 12, I could like disassemble and assemble a Pentium 2, I think. And uh, so computers was always my passion and uh, I also like it like uh, like a bunch of you like Lego was my 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 uh, my toy of choice always always and I really like to model things on clay so uh, my my mother is an artist so art and computers always been in my life uh, so I will just talk a little bit for myself uh, I didn't I'm not good at slides, so uh, I didn't put some like a, a cool PowerPoint for you, but uh, I think this will, will, will work. So I'm from Brazil. Uh, this is my, my great grandparents. This one here is me, and this is my brother. So uh, we live, uh, we used to live in, on, a farm, on a little farm. Uh, my old grandfathers, they came from Italy and uh, our background is very, they were like very work at farms and stuff. And this is me uh, hacking computers and stuff. So uh, <laughs> this is my cell phone here. <laughs> yeah, I, I was probably playing Counter-Strike, but uh, that's okay. So uh, I, 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 I uh, could uh, find found this, this photo. This is where like little models that I did with like uh, playing clay when I was a kid and I really like him doing like characters and figures and stuff. And uh, other works I did with, with clay playing around. This is like more recent. Uh, and this is my hero, my granddad. He's like uh, self-taught. Uh, he self-taught how to build computers, how to work with computers. At, uh, at that was this time, he was like a, a pioneer on technology. Everything he likes of technology. So he, on our state, on Paraná, it's south from São Paulo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Brazil. He, uh, there came like two person, the first two personal computers of the the state. One for Federal University of Curitiba. And one for him. <laughs> so he uh, he was really into into this stuff, and I learned it a lot with my my grandfather. Uh, so uh, I, I, apart from doing games, we were always we had like this uh, farm, so we could play around a lot. We build stuff, we we role play and stuff. So uh, it was like a rich a rich uh, environment for us to 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 experiment a lot of things. Uh, this should be a little later on, but this is my graduation uh, project in architecture. I'm a, a graduated architecture. This is the the sh is the sheet, but the blueprint, like final blueprint, showing the 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 project. And in the meantime, I uh, I always loved games and illustrations, and I started like joining some uh, challenges like. Uh, Making something different when I was not making some stuff for architecture, and uh, yeah, and this is my crew, my Brazilian crew. I lived with all these guys, and uh, they are we are we were like all artists from a lot of different backgrounds. Some were like into tattoos, so others into. Hand, 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 hand drawings. So uh, we learned a lot of uh, things from each other, and was a very enriching, enriching place. 
Uh, yeah, some random, <laughs> some random stuff here. This is like my graduation day. And uh, okay, so enough of me. Uh, my influences as a kid was always like video game. I love playing games and stuff. I play games like uh, uh, every every day. Every game that came out, I try to play. I barely finish it then, but uh, I I try to play it enough. So uh, Ultima, anybody here know Ultima? Ultima Online? You do? Cool. So uh, it was like my favorite game of all time. And uh, I love the isometric view, the, the pixel detailing art, and uh, I was really into this. Uh, so uh, these are some images of the that really inspired me to, to create something that was like this. This is Tibia. I didn't play a lot of Tibia, but Tibia is really cool too. Uh, Minecraft as well. When Minecraft came out, I was like, wow, Minecraft super cool. I could do this and stuff. And I was already playing with SketchUp and I tried doing some Minecraft-y stuff in SketchUp. Uh, and uh, I draw a lot of inspiration from pixel artists like E-Boy, uh, a lot of, uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm bad with names, but uh, uh, I, I really love like pixel art, like this philosophy of working with limitation, uh, of limitation of uh, how, you, how you plan your lines, how, uh, with colors, this e-boy is a little messy. They play with everything around, but there are other like pixel artists that they restrain. They work a little more in, in terms of color and composition. And this is something that really drills to me, but uh, I tried and I was like a very bad pixel artist. So, uh, okay. And uh, this was a game that when is Fez, you know Fez, right? So uh, when Fez came out, I was like, oh man, this is so cool. Maybe I could recreate this, create something like this in SketchUp. And uh, when f there, there, there's like three games that, like, that uh, influenced me to start creating like gamey stuff with SketchUp. So Fez was one of them. And then there was Sword and Sorcery. Sword and Sorcery was a game for iOS, I think. And uh, it was like very, the graphics was very stunning, very like mystery. And I really, really loved the, the, the shape of the characters, the language, the, the way they, they do stuff, like very simple pixel art, but very expressive at the same time. And uh, Kentucky Road Zero, have, have some ever played Kentucky Road Zero here? Even if you are not like a video game guy, you should play this game because it's a interactive novel and uh, it's not easy. You don't have to jump, you don't have to shoot. You just have to interact with the environment. And it's a, it's a mystery game. It's a fantastic game and really beautiful. So uh, these games, I was like, man, I, I want to create uh, things that, that look like this. I, I had like that each to, to, to play, to, to, to create things that look at like this. The, the character art is really amazing. I think they use Blender for this. Uh, and I really like cute stuff, like uh, very colorful stuff. I, I, I'm not the guy that would play like Resident Evil. I would not like sleep for a whole week if I play that and stuff. So uh, yeah, this is my like main influence from games and uh, in the art. There's a lot more, but uh, I'll, I'll stick to this one. And uh, okay, so uh, I'll show you some old works. I think it's nice to see like uh, the evolution of, uh, of, uh, of the work. So uh, I'll try to show you here my first characters that I I built in SketchUp. Uh, I think it's open in here. So uh, I was really like 
into a Western at this point. So like I was like, yeah, let's make some Western bad guys and stuff. And uh, it was like very simple. They are like cubes that I, I drew on and uh, I started doing some some guns and uh, the rigging was <laughs> really simple. You 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 get this his for posing the character right. I, I will go like this and and grab this thing right this make it playing something like this. So uh, I started doing poses and stuff and uh, I think it worked. I don't know what this guy is doing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I was trying out trying out some some different things. And uh, after that, I always trying to to upgrade characters to 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 improve them in some ways, and they started to getting like more complex. This is uh, another set of characters I was doing. So this one they have hands now. Yeah, really cool. And uh, I made a bunch of them like to to test uh, if they are. I don't know, I make uh, football players, waiters, child, just to see if I could get like a lot of people with this. But following uh, uh, some like proportions that I, I don't, don't do right now. Uh, this is a little strange for me to look at right now. But it was a start and uh, I was like always liking to like uh, characters so why not let's try doing characters the way we we have in SketchUp so uh, it, a cool thing about SketchUp is because uh, like a lot of other softwares he has limitations so it's cool to get these limitations and try try to work inside the limitations and be creative with that like uh, this is the tool that I have and I'll work with these, and I'll try to do, do the best that I, that I can with these tools. So uh, I started like improving, and uh, this one, <laughs> this one, I don't know if it, this is an improvement, but uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a samurai guy. Yeah, then let me see here. Uh, I started. I'm re sorry, girls. I'm really bad at doing woman, so <laughs> it's really it's really hard to make woman with hard shapes. But I I did it. I I, I on on the future I try to. So uh, let me see here. This one was getting a little better. This is a woman, right? It looks like a woman. So uh, yeah. And I'll, I'll jump a little bit and I'll go to the, this is the template that I use right now. They are more chubby, more, uh, the proportions are a little better. And uh, at some point I was very strict to, to use hard edges and stuff. And I learned, I was like, no, okay, let's move this one. Let's make some round edges here. And I think it, it got a little better. So uh, this is my template. Guys, this is Adam and this is Eve. So uh, everybody born from them. So <laughs> every character that I I need to make, I take them as, as template to to create. And uh, okay, so uh, yeah, this is like my my characters. So I'll, I'll show you uh, some old works using using this. This is some random works I started doing at college, like uh, playing around. Uh, this uh, this was some some RPG guys that I was like, oh yeah, and this uh, this is my first horse, <laughs> some skeletons, and some warriors. Uh, let me see here. Ah yes, but first let me show. The this this is my uh, first render of all time. It was like my my father asked me to to build a. Uh, there is a where you you put our closest to 
to do a draw and we want to hide there and I was yeah let's go <laughs> 3ds max yeah so uh, okay so uh, I'll, I'll show you a little of works from architecture that I used to do and uh, I worked like five years in a, as an architect and always used SketchUp as my weapon of choice so uh, I always try to get that SketchUp feel for the presentation, trying to, to, I really love like how the lines work, like the profiles and, and hard shadows, much like Leon. Uh, <laughs> and uh, these are some works that I did at the time. This is a little better render. I just rendered the, the building and the mask it and, and uh, do some, some, some effects. These were, this, this is a, a good thing of working with SketchUp for architecture because it was the same building that we need to iterate like the facades. So uh, we could do this like very quickly. Uh, some other jobs. Uh, so yeah, this is my, my uh, architecture background. So. Uh, I build up a lot of skills in SketchUp doing architecture stuff, and I really love that. Uh, it was all, it was very hard for me to get out of architecture to be an illustrator because I really love the people I work with, and I was like, oh man, oh man. So one day I was go like, man, I'm young. I'll try some some new stuff, and uh, okay, let's go. Uh, Okay, so this is my first, uh, how do you say, editorial work. There was like, uh, <laughs> there was like uh, elections in Brazil. So they asked me to, to, to model the candidates for, for the election. It was for a paper there for Folha de São Paulo. It's a, a big paper. And uh, I did it in SketchUp and it, it worked. And uh, with this work, it, uh, I learned a lot of things how to, 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 to make the, the characters more, more, with more facial expressions, facial recognition and stuff. Uh, and uh, I, I did a couple of freelance work. And then uh, my dream was to join a team to make games. And I was invited by this guy from, uh, he was from LA, he, he lives in Chicago now. And I started making like uh, characters for his game. It's an unreleased game yet, but uh, it was really fun to, to make. Uh, I was responsible for the, for the characters. And um, I did a bunch of them. These are some props actually. We have a lounge. Uh, uh, and stuff, and I did the props for that. This is uh, this is Herm. <laughs> he should be here on Palm Springs. <laughs> uh, Kelly, uh, Cleo, Misty. Uh, this was the protagonist, Parker. Uh, he was like a detective. It was something like Twin Peaks. Uh, in in the space, some, something very very weird, uh, and I really enjoy doing this, and I learned learned a lot with this this process uh, because uh, it's cool because uh, most people what most people sometimes came to me for well really you do characters in SketchUp oh well, yeah man you can do you, you just you. You can you just be creative, handle the limitations, try to 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 create something with you 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 know how to do right, and uh, it was even voiced over. We we got the recordings for the. Let me see here. Ah, it's not I, this one. Don't have voices, but uh, it's a very early prototype of the game, and. Uh, this is Parker running around. Yes, but the project is on hold right now. But it was a really great experience to learn 
more about game design. I really didn't know nothing at that time. So uh, in between projects like doing freelance, doing uh, uh, editorial, the thing that was I think is really important is to keep like uh, personal projects because personal projects you can mistake, you can uh, you can try crazy things uh, all the time. So uh, I tried like improving, always improve. So this is a, a uh, characters that I did for uh, for myself and uh, trying to improve like pose and uh, some proportions and stuff. Some like uh, maybe facial, facial, uh, I don't know, improvements. And I was really, really, how do I say? I didn't want to put eyes on, char on the char characters. So, uh, but I was wrong. I, I was, at some point I put it, they, they were really bad. This is another one. This is from, uh, do you know, like Metal Gear Solid? So I, I did Big Boss, uh, and I love doing weapons. Weapons are really cool to make in, uh, in SketchUp. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, this is another uh, uh, a commission I had to, 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 to make the illustrations for an uh, uh, English book in Brazil uh, to teach English for kids. And uh, I made the characters and and scenes, and uh, it was a very different job for me because uh, it, it should be cute and stuff. But in the end, it, it really worked out. This is Romeo, and uh, we we had this uh, this uh, this model that we would unfold, and uh, the the children with we we would like play with, uh, fold it and, and play with this along the classes. And I was trying like some expressions and stuff, some poses in the, all, all done in SketchUp. Uh, let me see here. So yeah, here we are. This, is, this one were, was a commission for uh, a guy that was making like a robot movie. I can't remember the name, but I, I did some robots for that. I, I, I never did robots, so I, I, I find it very cool. And yeah, w around this time I was like always uh, trying some personal stuff, uh, building something for myself, uh, challenging me. And uh, this is C3PO, a little too hard, but yeah. Uh, this is a little scene I put together, and always trying to 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 practice and and improve on this. So uh, yeah, this is from Alan Wake. It's a game I like. Oh, I'll try to recreate the 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 uh, how do you say the the poster of the game. Uh, okay. So uh, I, at this point, I, uh, I use it to do like iconic stuff, like maybe three characters together or just one character. In the uh, own environment, I was really poor. I didn't really know how to handle perspective and environment. I'm self-learned at this, at this stuff. So uh, yeah, I challenged myself to create more like more environments and uh, I started doing some any is there anyone here who likes Star Wars do you like Star Wars cool 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 so uh, I challenged myself to make a really big scene uh, f from Star Wars uh, the first one I did was like tattooing let me open it here. It's a little big scene. So, uh, yeah, everything here is done in, 
everything was done in SketchUp. It's a little, a very complex scene. Uh, not that complex because you you have like a lot of repetition, but when you put things together, they 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 work out. So uh, yeah, this is like stormtroopers around, and uh, I made those uh, speeders from the newer movies, and uh, even Chewbacca. I tried to to make a Wookie. <laughs> This one was a really tricky one to make, and uh, I had a blast doing this because I love SketchUp, and uh, and uh, I, I I I thought why not? So uh, it's it's uh, this is the scene that I work on. So uh, how do I approach this? I make I make like a, I make like a, let me see here. Uh, I set the camera, a fixed camera, in uh, in uh, isometric pro projection. Actually, it's not that isometric. You have like one depth of field, a little depth of field, just to make it a little more inter interesting. If you go like uh, this, this is isometric. This is like one one depth of field. So uh, I think it gets a, a little more in interesting. It, it gives a, a little perspective, but not that much. And you have this isometric view yet. So uh, yeah, this is the first Star Wars scene I worked on, and I really love it. And uh, then I go like, whoa, yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's create half scene. And... Uh, I came up with like like the scene from Hoff, the Hoff hanger. I made the 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 X wings. I made the 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 pilots, the 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 rebel 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 soldiers. I think that there is a Wookiee around here too. There he is, and uh, it's funny because uh, it looks like a. a it's a busy scene in a lot of elements, but uh, like like Liam, there is you can like make make some props and go like rotating it and putting different positions and look it look like you have a ton of stuff, but it's a ton of the same stuff, you know. <laughs> so uh, I have a little uh, whip images. I like to keep like working prog images just to to follow along. So this is the, uh, this is it. This is not the first. The first I didn't have the the, the X wings. So uh, I I just do a a little thumbnail sketch on paper to set like perspective and what I want. And right after that, I start blocking stuff on 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 on, on SketchUp. And then these were like a little blocky. And uh, I start like taking like wow what's more important in this scene. So at that time, the, the X wings were more like a focal point to the scene. So I go like yeah let's model the X wings. I model the X wings, did some paint jobs and put in there. So uh, after that, I go like uh, yes let mo let's model the IC stuff. Let's put the 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 floor and uh, like the the boxes to give some 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 movement to the scene. And then I started doing, inserting like cables and uh, these little clouds that helps me like a lot. <laughs> and uh, like some ground markings here, the tracks for the, the X-Wings. And then I start putting the, the characters on. This is, I think they are just like uh, uh, posed uh, just static, they are not yet animated. And uh, this is the, the final image here. This is the final, the final half hanger image. So if you go from this to, to this SketchUp file, 
it's almost the same. Like uh, there is not too much difference from here. So everything is done in SketchUp, like 90%. I just separate my channels to bring forward to, uh, to, to Photoshop and give some like fine details. Like uh, for this one, I separated the channels here. I separate like uh, clay render to, to select the, some parts to get a little highlight. Uh, the color, the color map, the, this is a layer render so I can select different things in SketchUp and uh, a line render so I can have the, the lines and uh, apart from the lines I, I separate the, the, I don't think I have the profile here but this is, was a occlusion pass I, I did in V-Ray and uh, it helps to to bring everything together to to it's it's really cool i'm trying nowadays i'm trying to avoid ambient occlusion to go more like shadeless and stuff but uh, ambient occlusion is awesome and this is like my uh, profile channels so oh sorry in my shadow shadow channels so the channels being like uh, 30? 30 minutes? Cool. Uh, so uh, the shadow, the, 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 the masks being like black and white, you can create masks on Photoshop and, and mess around with that. I'll just, I'll just try to show you guys. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, I'll take this one from New York. There is a New York scene that I work on. So... Uh, yeah. It's really heavy. But uh, this is a scene that I work on. It's not final. There are some red guys here. But uh, just to show you how, how I, uh, I uh, use the, the, those layers I bring from, from SketchUp. So this is uh, the clay render. I just like inverted it to get like the the white parts to be like highlighted in a little yellow. It's very subtle, but can give you uh, some good effects. Uh, this one is the shadow layer. I invert it as well to get like white will be shadow. So I can tweak like the the color of the shadow, right? I can get like more cold shadows, like so more, 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 sorry, more warm, more cold shadows. And uh, this one is, uh, is the, 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 the occlusion, the occlusion channel. So in the mask, I inverted it. So uh, in the white will be the, the, the occlusion and I can change like I can pick like a different color for the occlusion not just black if I want like more more of a blue occlusion I can do this and uh, yeah the the layer channel I used to like uh, if I have some I think I separated the clouds here because I didn't want like uh, uh, like shadow cast occlusion affecting the shadows. So I will go like here and uh, this is the shadow. I just delete it here and uh, the shadow don't affect my, my cloud. So uh, it's a pretty great way to, to, to work with, with SketchUp to separate channels and bring them in Photoshop and playing around and see what what is best for your for your work, uh, we have we have like have less than thirty minutes, so I, I didn't want to 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 extend myself on this. I re, I wanted to 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 go to SketchUp and so show some techniques for you guys. What do you think? Yeah. Cool, nice. So uh, I think uh, I think I'll go. The, I'll take the, the characters that I work right now. 
just to explain you guys the structure of the the character. So uh, this is my character. This is the character I work right now. I don't know why this is. This was a color scheme. I was uh, I was trying to make a texture out of it. But yeah, this is I'll give left the girl here in the oh yeah I need to show you something there is this uh where is it mark six yeah I have a saloon I have a a barber shop for my my characters so yeah this is the barber shop okay <laughs> and uh I can I can do like prototype some some hairs here for for girls some beards for men some uh, so I I have like a bunch of things to to randomize on characters and ah, I put a mustache on this guy with the mohawk and I have a different one so uh, I'm always like improving this library of hairs and stuff. Uh, and this is very handy, very time saving because every time you start a new character, the, the, the hair part is a tricky one to make. So I, I have this library to work on. So uh, I'll just show you the structure of the character, the way I, I work right now. So uh, I use like uh, the, the, the heads, I always look, I use it detached. <laughs> Like uh, it's a detached head, so. Uh, but when you, I I I mostly work with isometric, so this don't uh, don't. Uh, it's not like a a big problem, and I really like this view of he being like disconnected. So uh, I have his mouth here. So if I scale this up, I can close his mouth. Okay. If I don't scale this, he's like smile. <laughs> if I go like this and uh, and make something like this, sorry, he gets like mad or something, you know? <laughs> and uh, it's pretty basic. The forms, the, the mouth is, is something like this. Then I have the, the, the teeth. Uh, the the nose the, I, I think the nose is already on the the head geometry, right? The the ears. Some eyes now I work with eyes. I love 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 the eyes now. And uh, I think the most important thing like uh, the do you remember the, that once that the the legs was just a square that I rotated and I trying to 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 figure a better way to do this. So what I do, I make something like this for the, for the, the this is the forearm or what's the name of this part of here? The arm? Yeah? Okay. So uh, I have this, he's, he, it's important, it, it, these parts to be a square, like minus 20, 20. This is really important. Uh, so I have a, a half circle here right? This one, I think it has one, two, three, four, five, six faces. So uh, when I have the, the other part of the arm, I can take this and rotate this and position in the way that uh, the arm is bent, right? So uh, you could have like more steps, but these steps already helps me a lot. And I do the same thing like for the hand. You could like uh, make the hand do something like this. A little weird, but uh, yeah. <laughs> if you want to, uh, you have the hands like this. If you want to, to make it like this, you just, uh, I have this line here just for, uh, for rotating this part. So uh, now you have uh, an arm for, <laughs> you know, so uh, yeah, and uh, the 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 hand works at, works the same time, the same way. Sorry. So uh, if I have something here, I have the thumb. I can like 
rotate the thumb here. I can take the, the fingers. I know that this is the pivot point, so I can go like this and uh, unselect this and uh, rotate this a little bit to, to make more uh, feeling like a hand, right? And uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, there you there. What is this? Oh, it's his jaw. Sorry. So uh, yeah, I think this is uh, something that people tell ask me a lot. Like, how do you do like characters in SketchUp? And the good thing is that if you if you uh, if you keep this these parts like a solid, you can like come after you pose your character and just join everything. So uh, yeah, this becomes like uh, something went wrong here, but uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, let me see if I can fix this. This is not a solid anymore, but uh, the, the, why I do this is because my work is very dependent on the profiles and lines. So uh, if I have, when I try to get uh, the uh, the line thing here, this would like mask my work. So if I have this attached here, I won't have this line anymore. So even I, I can like soften edges here. And I have like a really clean, clean arm with line and profile that I can uh, apply really quickly in Photoshop. So uh, the way I think I, I create stuff is like more like a vector way, like vector graphics, uh, trying to get the lines right and stuff. And uh, what I've been doing for some time now is uh, let me just open here. Uh, this is uh, uh, my, my uh, character. I was working for a game. And uh, I, lost my, I lost my point right now, what, was I, what I was trying to, 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 to illustrate. But ah, yes, the, the, the shading. So I, I'm, I use like a... I try to use like no light. This this guy have like no light casted on it. So the way I do this, I take like this is this material like uh, bright material. So for the for the the sides, I, I create like another material to create a, a shadow, a, a difference of 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 uh, shading. But it's all like very. Uh, done in a uh, hand by hand, right? I shade it by hand because uh, I have like much control of the the shading. And uh, now I think a lot of of like making this character for a, a real time engine. I'm working with games now, so the character must be light, uh, light in terms of geometry of cost for the engine. So. If you if you really don't have like need like uh, cast light if you could li light your character just with texture that can like uh, you can um, the the engine will like be very happy with you because it will run very very faster and I really like this this kind of representation like uh, like shadeless but with a little like highlights and stuff. And uh, I'm just going through, I, I wanted to, to tell you guys a lot of stuff. So I'm going really quickly here. You can ask me later. But uh, I'll just, uh, this couple of weeks, I, uh, I started, last month I started working on a, on a game company. And uh, at first we had like 3D characters and I challenged, I, I, I said to the guys, hey, maybe we, we should do like two-day characters because it will be less expensive 
because we are working off mobile and I challenged myself to make like 2D characters on, on SketchUp and uh, let me see here So yeah, this is what I I came up with. I made some like uh, modular guys here. With uh, they are not 3D, they are they are 2D. I just take some some parts and put a little on top of the other. So I have like this uh, this guy here. He has a beard, so his beard is on top of his face, and uh, his mustache is in top of the the beard. You know, like making when you have much like when we, what you have like in Photoshop, a layer on top of the other. But I do this like offsetting then a bit, like moving a bit for of, uh, up and down. And uh, we did like a lot of like uh, templates for the characters. We then we even had like some some famous guys like uh, Stephen Hawking and uh, you know. Uh, we we had like some little dogs that would be on the game, but they are all on 2D. They are so shapes on top of the other. And uh, oh yeah, this is uh, this was supposed to be Laika, <laughs> but uh, you know Laika, the space dog. But uh, I don't know, it's not good enough, I think. Uh, so everything I was trying to do on this method. In uh, SketchUp, do you, do you do you guys know how UV mapping work? Uh, so SketchUp does UV mapping, but it, it don't show you. He, he, it's not apparent. You don't have like a window for UV mapping for UV unwrapping. So the way I, I I figure out I could do this, I create like a rectangle here, and I put the pieces that I that I needed here with some margins for if I have a, another character with like a bigger hair, it would fit this. So the the the, hand, the head will fit this part, the body this part, the hand this part, the two this, tar, this part, and this is a perfect perfect square. So I, 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 I got this and export to Photoshop. I think I have the the files here, let me see. Uh, I exported like uh, these lines so just that I can cut the, the on Photoshop and make a perfect square of my my image. And I have some alphas to, to select stuff. Uh, these are, uh, I separate the bodies from the head so I have like a, a color and a layer mask to, to select parts that I wanted to, to make profiles. And then I don't think I have a PSD here, but uh, this is the. Let me see here images, characters, export, export. Uh, I want to find the characters ready. Text. Oh, here they are. So uh, when I imported them to. to, to to Photoshop and, 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 and make them, then edit it then. So we, we have like, uh, we have like uh, this worker and this worker and this worker. And you see that they all share the same space in the UV layout. So uh, after I do this, I grab the image that I created on, uh, on, uh, on Photoshop and I drop here again on on uh, on SketchUp, right? I explode this one, and I I put it here to match the this squad that, that I created here previously, and uh, I copy both here down, explode this uh, this here. So I have the now I have the plane for the body, a plane for the head, a plane for no, 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 it was a PNG, sorry. PNG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I exported the PNGs from PSD and, and dropped them on SketchUp. 
So I have all these parts here. Uh, I can even mark like, uh, I should have done this before, but the center of rotation must be something like here. The center of rotation must be something like here. So I can, I can put this character already UV mapped in some way that SketchUp don't show us, but they, it's there. I'll put this a little, a little on top. I'll put the legs like here and here. I'll drop this a little bit. This is like uh, putting layer behind layer, but with uh, like moving, moving down or moving up, you know? So uh, the hands, uh, this two is a really cool because I left, uh, I left uh, uh, a marquee here so I can, uh, I can drop the, I can find the center of this for some reason. But uh, if I put this here, it's a little bit for here. And I drop this uh, down a bit, really, really low. I can catch this and rotate the arm and it will be like a, <laughs> a function <laughs> to the arm, you know? Uh, so uh, I can put this on the, the character. Hey, we have a 2D character because uh, if I would create this character with geometry to get like round, rounded stuff, it would take like a lot of geometry and uh, making this way, I have like some pretty simple quads that I can can use on, on, on SketchUp, on Unity and stuff. I just need to, to go to another pr program to rig them, but they, they already, the geometry is already red. And since the, since all this texture share the same, uh, the same layout, the head is in the same place, the, the body is in the same place, if I take this, uh, this material here and change for, uh, take this guy here, it will change it like uh, on the fly, you know? So uh, I have this one. If I want to, on engine, if I want to change it to this guy here, I think the, the, this is a little lower because of the dress, but, uh, yeah, we can change, we can make this on engine. We do it a little even more, a little more complex because we do a sprite sheet of all of them and the engine, we, we grab the UV and, and say like, oh, randomize. Like we have three rows and three, three rows and three, how do you say? Uh, yeah, columns. So he, he will get like, oh, I'll get the color one and row two. And, we randomize the, the characters on the fly in the game. So we get a lot of randomized characters and it enriched the game somehow. Uh, okay, so uh, this is the, the, the 2D version. I, try, I tried the, uh, a 3D version just, just to make sure, but uh, I, I make the same character I made it in 3D, so this is the 2D character. I made this one in 3D. He's cute, <laughs> but uh, it's over, five minutes. So, uh, but he will, on mobiles, it will be a little more costly for us. So we, we opted for, for 2D and works really well. And uh, I think that's it. Uh, there was a lot of more I wanted to show you guys, but uh, we are running out of time. So uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry? The Z fighting. I just like uh, if I have the body and uh, the the arm is on top of the body, 
I just put the arm like one centimeter up. Yeah. I I don't know what you I I I I don't think I get you. Yeah, like I change the skin, the skin of the character. You mean? This is what you mean? No, but uh, the geometry stays in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. He just replaced it. Yeah. Yeah, they are a, a little, a little. They are n never in the same plane, because in, in SketchUp, if you put uh, too closely, if if you zoom out, you have the Z fight. But in Unity, is not really a big problem for us. So they can be really, really close, like mal, uh, I don't know, uh, really close. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, please. Yes, I do. Well, man, I, I have a couple. I have a list here that uh, I... Uh, <laughs> no, no, this is not all plugins. Uh, <laughs> this was like my presentation guys, you know? But uh, at some point I was supposed to talk about this. Sorry, I, I, f I forgot. So I... My main, my main plugins that I use, I don't use a lot of plugins, but uh, by order of the most, not the best, but the most useful for me, uh, it's Cleanup Tree from TomTom. Where's TomTom? I love you, man. <laughs> uh, it's like a compost scene from Javier Rivera. Uh, this plugin used to be free. Now he's charging for it, but it, it works. Like it's a pretty cool. Is this one that I separated the alpha clay color? He creates like scenes for me, like for the alpha, for the clay, for the color, for the layers, for the lines, automatically. You can do this by hand and set a file with these this scenes already there, but uh, this saves a lot of time, sorry? As you channel, I, I I I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't send you guys like stick on novel of knowledge files and stuff. But uh, after the presentation, I I'll, I'll if you guys are interested, I'll, I'll post on the on the app. Okay, I, I'll put in Dropbox or Drive or something like that. And uh, well, but apart from that, I use a lot of Fredo Six like round corner, round the corner. Um, Saves my life uh, a lot of time. Uh, curvy loft uh, to make like shapes. Like if I if there are like some skirts that I want to do, and I was like, ah, curvy loft helps a lot. Uh, AMS soften soften edges. Yeah, uh, M A M AMS soften edges is something like uh, it's the same like uh, V-Ray soften edges. But uh, let me see here. Uh, if you have like something like this, and I can. Uh, another thing I was going to talk to you is the importance of hotkeys, and I forgot that too. But uh, hotkeys are awesome if you could like hotkey every everything that you usually normally do. It saves you from being thinking like, ah, oh, where do I click? Where and release you from thinking about about tools and and release you to creativity. So this is AMS two. I, I bind it to Shift S, and uh, it, it brings me. Uh, it's it's like uh, like the soften edges from from. Uh, 
from native from SketchUp, but he has a uh, some little more tweaks that you you can make, like you can soft materials or you can not soft materials. And uh, for me, uh, it's a really really useful. Uh, Solar North, Solar North from SketchUp is a really cool, uh, uh, a really cool uh, tool because you can position the direction direction of the sun, direction of the north, so you can get the sun here or here. Uh, so using the sun, not like a sun, but a, a light, a light that you position on your scene, and it's really helpful to set the lighting. Uh, material, material, material tools from Tonton too, and uh, <laughs> it helps me a lot to clean, to, to clean materials. Sometimes I just want, uh, when, when I used to use V-Ray, I want to clean everything else to just put some material to make specular maps and stuff, and this helps me a lot. And Pipe Along Path is uh, from TIG, is a really simple tool that you create like a, a line and uh, it goes like you select the line and make like a, I, I want a pipe with uh, six sides uh, the the side of the, the 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 pipe and stuff and then it creates automatically you don't have like to push pull it all the way it does like automatically so this saves a lot of time yeah and it's pretty much this. Any more questions? Please. What kind of size do you uh, size like metric. Uh, the scale, this ones, is because uh, I work with Unity, so uh, we have to. Uh, these ones they have like four meters, so but uh, it's it's uh, we we shrink it then half to be like two meters to be like a person size because Unity cares about a lot uh, for that for real scale. So uh, normally I put like a person size to make a a character, you know, yeah, and uh, yeah. Any more questions? So, based on like, your work evolution, uh, what do you think is your next step? Like, are you planning to like, evolve your style into more, more polygons? Or are you sticking with this? Maybe not more polygons, but I'm, I'm the level, I'm, I'm, I'm the level, the <laughs> developing a way to unwrap things in SketchUp with just native tools. Can I show you a file here? Yeah. So uh, this is what I'm making right now. The guys, I, I work at Pixel Dust. It's a, it's a game company in Brazil. And they allowed me to, to show models for you. Uh, not this one. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, SketchUp, I can use like, a, it's you can, Think SketchUp like for many many uses. This is a, 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 a hanger for the game we are working working on. So uh, we have this platform, and we have this 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 thing that's going to take the the rockets out and stuff. I'm not I'm not with the environment here right now. I put in the, the characters here, and every every single thing I did here was unwrapped in, in SketchUp. I didn't use external things to unwrap it. Uh, I don't. I don't have the the working files with the the unwrap it thing. But this is the step that I I'm trying now. Like to unwrap things and uh, like to uh, texturing stuff in, in in Photoshop and SketchUp without without plugins. I I I'm, I'm creating an, a method to to do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a much more because I don't think it's much more because because SketchUp uses embed texture, so uh, it not uses external. 
when you put a texture on, it saves inside the file. And uh, this one, yeah, because this this is a little more simple. But if I have this same scale of the Star Wars file, uh, the Star Wars files uses zero textures, so uh, it would be way lighter than with with textures. You know? I'm sorry, can you talk a little? So you embrace this limitation? Yeah. But do you think that limitation is your style? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And working in the game industry, have you found you had pushback from anybody saying that why you need to skip that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. I, everything, every come. My, my boss came to me and go like, oh man, you're using this alien program. Like, he used Maya a lot, you know, because uh, and I were, and, but he starts to see the the stuff that I can do, and he you know, goes like, "Oh yeah, cool, man," <laughs> because it's really fast to iterate. We iterate very fast, and uh, we are working for mobile, and we have to do like things very very fast. So we have to test. We have to create. We created a game in three weeks, so we can we can soft release it and start gathering that data to, to uh, if you think like, oh, the, the, it will not work, so kill the project, so we don't have to spend, need to spend, we don't, don't have the luxury to spend a lot of time de developing something to release. This, these things have to, to work really quickly, and SketchUp saves me daily, daily, daily basis to working like this. Thank you, guys.